Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MicroStation Connect Edition Visualization Video Series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant at Bentley Systems. Today's video, we're going to talk about source lighting. So if this is man-made lighting or anything but solar lighting. Let's go ahead and launch MicroStation Connect Edition, load the workspace Bentley Connect Training and the work set visualization. Then we can go ahead and load the drawing A underbar station model underbar MS. We have a number of different source lights that we can use and place into our drawing. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to come up here and go to the visualization workflow. I'm going to go to the home tab, go over to lighting group and launch the lighting dialog box. Now here we see again on the left, we see our light setups. We have our light names in the middle, and then we have our settings for our individual lights over on the right hand side. You can also see that if I choose another light setup, for instance, if I select afternoon, the shadows change in my drawing to reflect that light setup. If I click on morning, it's the morning light setup. If I click on mid morning, that's the mid morning light setup. That is uh, readjusting the solar position according to the time of day that I have set up in those different settings. Another thing that the light setups will do is if you click on the night setup, you see everything kind of gets dark, and then we have some source lighting on the outside that is shining. We can see those source lights. And also notice here under the light name, it actually turned on all the source lights that I had in my drawing. That's another thing that the light setups will do is we'll turn lights on and off accordingly. You can see here that solar and ambient looks like that they're turned on, but it just didn't refresh. If you click on those, you can see that those are off in this setup as well. So we have a number of different lights in our drawing here. Come up to the top, click on the place light icon. And in the place light icon, you can see that we have five different lights. We have a point light. We have a spotlight. We have a area light, we have a directional light, and we have a sky opening. I'm going to give a brief explanation of what each one of these is. A point light is probably one of the uh, most popular that we put into our drawings. The point light is like a light bulb. It emanates light equally in all directions. It can be contained by putting it in a solid object. I can make it so it will only shine down and not shine up, the object that I have it in will contain that. A spotlight is more like what a flashlight does. You turn a flashlight on and you point that beam at what you want to illuminate. That's exactly what a spotlight does. An area light is an element inside of MicroStation that I can assign as a light. So this is a great way to do fluorescent lighting fixtures. If you have a rectangle, I can assign that rectangle a light, and now that becomes a source of illumination. You need an element in MicroStation to assign an area light. A directional light is pointing to an area that might be dark in your scene. If there's a dark corner in my scene when I render it, I can use directional light to illuminate or shed some light into that corner, and I can adjust the intensity of that light to illuminate something that is dark. And then the last one is the sky opening. The sky opening is used like a skylight. I can put a sky opening on a skylight so I can illuminate an area and make it act like the sun. If I set up the solar on the outside, I'm going to have to deal with all the shadows of everything on the outside. If I have trees out there, if I have signs and equipment in the building, that takes time to render. If I turn off solar and do a skylight in the interior and then work my interior shot, I can basically mimic the sun through a sky opening. Those are our different types of lights. Our next videos are going to be placing these lights individually. So thanks, continue watching, and we'll see you soon. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.